Tips over. Hundreds of kids have died and thousands more injured from falling furniture or TVs. Now a new law promises important changes to the way some furniture is made. Ashley Reynolds on what's new and reminds parents about an important safety step to do in your home tonight. Washington, D.C. firefighter Daniel Brong and his two-year-old daughter Zoe were tidying up her room when the unthinkable happened. Zoe started opening up the drawers when she had opened two of those little drawers on the top. The dresser came down right on her foot and I was like, oh no. The dresser crushed two of Zoe's toes, nearly severing them. Doctors were able to reattach and within a few weeks she healed in a cast. The best news, Zoe is now on her way to a full recovery. The danger is not new. Over the past two decades, hundreds of young children have died or were injured from falling furniture or televisions. A majority of tip over deaths involve children under the age of six. But those grim statistics could soon be changing thanks to a new law called the Sturdy Act. It requires all dressers and similar products made or sold in the U.S., including those under 30 inches tall, to meet minimum safety standards regarding sturdiness and strength testing. The Sturdy Act was years in the making, with consumers groups and parents pressing hard for its passage. 15 years since I lost my son Charlie to a tip over and this problem has gone on way too long and I think we've really established a law here that's going to protect children for many many years going forward. Consumer Reports advocated for the new law and reminds parents that even with these new protections it's still strongly recommended that all furniture be properly anchored to the walls no matter the height weight and manufacturing date of the product. To say that I'm thankful that it tipped over. I'm not, but I learned a lot from it. I've secured four other dressers in our house to make sure this doesn't happen again. The American Home Furnishing Alliance applauded the passage of the Sturdy Act, saying that it will provide manufacturers with a clear pathway to compliance. And if you're not sure how to anchor furniture, we have a video for you by Consumer Reports with a step-by-step -step guide on how to do it. Just head right now to our news app. Steve? Thanks, Ashley.